Okay, so today we're going to install a um, set up a Twitter follow and unfollow bot that can also do some other stuff. So if we open Google Chrome here, we'll copy this link. The link will be in the description, of course. So this video might be a bit long, but I'm hoping to edit it down a little bit. So we go to GitHub, and then we download this zip. Then you want to open a new tab and go to or search for Python 2.7.9, and then it's top link on Google. So you want to get the version for your version of Windows on 64 bit, so we get that one. Then we run that. Also, want to extract the Twitter follow and unfollow bot that you just downloaded. Run that. Install for all users, just install it for default folder. Next, next. Yes to that. So then we'll finish that and then we want to try and run that Python script. So if we press Control and Shift and then right click, we can open command window here and then we'll find that twitterbot.py will run that so we need the module named Tweepy so we'll go ahead and install that so we'll go to the folder where Python is installed go to the scripts folder and then we'll do pip install tweety so that's done so now we'll go back to this folder here so we just copy that out and then cd Space and then we'll paste that in and then we'll try and run that again and you see that it works so we can quit that now now we need to go into the JSON and we need to open that with notepad Of course, it's not going to display it properly, so we need to download Notepad++ because it is so much better than Notepad. So we just download that. Install that. Find to click next, next, next through that link. Finish. Don't need that open yet. We'll now open that with note. Edit that with Notepad plus plus. So now we need to set our screen name, our consumer key, our consumer secret, access token, and access secret, which you can get from going to dev twitter.com signing in so then we have to once we're signed in we have to 
find where Twitter stash your API credentials. So we go to products, accounts and users. Okay, so you go to developer.twitter.com with well, a link will be in the description anyway. Click apply, it will probably ask you to sign in then if you're not already. Click Twitter standard APIs, standard access. Then click create an app. You can create a new app. I've already got an app made. So you can see you've got all the details here. Just click manage access keys and access tokens. And then you've got your consumer secret there and key. And then the uh, OAuth access token is there. So we'll just copy that into there. Use the Twitter ID of the account that you're signed into in the developer console. So now if we go back and run the bot again, we can follow back all users that follow me. And as you can see, that's going through and doing that now. So yeah, success. Uh, some of the stuff I've noticed is a bit buggy. There's a few problems, but it seems some most of it seems to work. Uh, so yeah, good luck with it. Thanks for watching.